the news channel, primary, volcano, concert, riot, religion, hostages, candidates, government, business, merger, refugees, airplane crash, earthquake, celebrity, science, the earth, the universe, the news channel. Hello, I'm Gwen Summers, and here's the latest from the Cable News Network. It could have been an episode from an old Ronald Reagan TV movie, Death Valley Days, as Interior Secretary James Watt announced his resignation Sunday. A gangling figure, well over six feet in height, sat tall in the saddle as he rode up to the awaiting newsman, dismounted and read his lines. CNN's Brian Jenkins reports from near Santa Barbara. Brian Jenkins, CNN, Santa Barbara, California. President Reagan has stood by Watt throughout the furor over the Interior Secretary's September remark about the members of a coal advisory panel. In a statement handed out to White House reporters tonight, Mr. Reagan said he accepted Watts' resignation reluctantly. CNN's Pam Olson has a report. Pam Olson, CNN, the White House. James Watt rode off into the sunset Sunday, but it was a murky sunset beclouded by the dust of controversy kicked up during his term with the Reagan administration. CNN's Ralph Begleiter looks back at Watt's term. Ralph Begleiter, CNN, Washington. South Korean officials are blaming the North Koreans for engineering the Sunday terrorist bombing in Rangoon that killed four top officials of President Chan doo wons cabinet. The blast came on the first day of a scheduled 18-day presidential... The News Channel, London, Rome, Los Angeles, Vienna, Miami, Buffalo, Seoul, Tokyo, Moscow, Newark, Nicaragua, Iran, San Francisco, Peking, Paris, New York, Nashville, Naples, Warsaw, Jamaica, Washington, all this and more on the News Channel. Good morning, I'm Gwen Summers. Another round of fierce fighting erupted this morning between Lebanese army troops and Muslim rebels. Today's fighting was in the south suburbs of Beirut, where Shiite Muslim Amal Gumman are in control. Last night, there were heavy artillery exchanges between the factions fighting for control in the mountains. That fighting spread to Beirut, where U.S. Marines were hit by mortars, grenades, and automatic weapons. Four Marines were wounded by shrapnel, and members of the Marines' Charlie Company shot back with a salvo of howitzer rounds. Before last night's out burst of fighting, CNN's Bill Zimmerman visited Charlie Company. Bill Zimmerman, CNN, with Charlie Company, Beirut. The Columbus doctor who was convicted of 21 rapes has been sentenced to at least 191 years in prison. Dr. Edward Jackson was also fined $130,000 yesterday following his conviction Thursday of 60 felonies. He told the Akron jury he was tempted to apologize but would not because his sincerity would be questioned. An innocent man had spent five years in prison for crimes committed by Jackson. Jackson will be eligible for parole in nine and a half years. A seven-year-old boy burned by his father received a hero's welcome in New York yesterday. CNN's Pat Dolan has the story. Pat Dolan, CNN, New York. New medical techniques have often helped doctors save lives in cases where there was once no hope. But CNN's Brian Jenkins reports these advancements have also produced a number of legal and ethical questions on when a doctor should save a life and when he should let it in. Brian Jenkins, CNN, Long Beach, California. This is CNN Headline News. You're in tune with the world. Tour ...that was to have included stops in five other Asian countries. A total of at least 19 people died when the bomb...